hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos and stay one inside in our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's get started. In the heavenly palace of Zenosaba, the Grand Priest, Daishikan, reflected deeply on the vast multiverse. Sitting on his heavenly throne, he contemplated the efforts and achievements of mortals in the different universes. Daishikan, with his golden eyes that transcended time and space, observed every action of beings in every corner of the multiverse. He could see the constant struggle for survival, the quest for excellence, and the emerging power that was born from determined hearts. As he contemplated, an expression of satisfaction and perhaps a touch of surprise crossed the Grand Prix's serene face. The incredible journey of Goku, Vegeta, Broly, and other extraordinary warriors caught his attention in a special way. Mortals are fascinating, right? Their abilities to overcome limits, seek power, and challenge even the gods is a unique quality. Daishikan was aware of every epic battle, every sacrifice, and every victory that shaped the destiny of the universes. He admitted the resilience of mortals in the face of adversity, the way they come together in times of crisis and how, through their journeys, they transcended their own limits. In his thinking, Daishikan considered that perhaps the true power of mortals lay not only in physical strength or powerful techniques, but rather in the tireless flame that burned within each of them. The flame of determination, friendship, and the desire to protect what they loved. With a calm sigh, Daishikan remained attentive to the multiverse, ready to witness the next chapter of the incredible stories unfolding in the worlds of mortals. His gaze, still reflecting divine wisdom, was filled with respect for the unique and unparalleled journey of the beings that inhabited the universes. Daishika, the Grand Priest, addressed to the King of All, Zenosama, in the majestic Heavenly Palace. He was aware that mortals in several universes were reaching new heights of power and felt the need to share this observation with the Supreme Ruler. Face to face with Zenosama's imposing presence, Daishikan portrayed himself respectfully before expressing himself. Oh, great king of all, I have noticed a remarkable phenomenon in the universes. Mortals, as time passes, are reaching levels of strength that surprises even me, a divine observer. Hmm? So mortals are getting stronger? That's interesting! Show me, show me! Daishikan raised his hand, revealing holographic images that depicted several epic battles across the universes. From Goku and his companions in Universe 7 to other exceptional warriors in distant universes, the images show the power of mortals on the rise. As you can see, my king, their journeys are marked by sacrifices, rigorous training, and overcoming challenges that often seem insurmountable. The fire within them, this determination, is elevating their powers to new heights. Oh, it looks like fun. They're getting really strong. I want to see more, Daishikan. Daishikan continued to present stunning battle scenes, detailing how mortals, often with extraordinary inner strength, were shaping the course of the universes. It is quite intriguing, my king. Mortals may be becoming a force that transcends divine expectations. We must keep an eye on what the future holds. Zenosama, while maintaining his playful nature, contemplated the information provided by Daishikan. Hmm. It will be interesting to see what happens. Let's keep watching, Daishikan. With that order, Daishikan remained attentive to developments, while Zenosama, the king of all, eagerly awaited more excitement in the universes he ruled. After sharing the vision of mortals becoming increasingly powerful with Zenosama, Daishikan the Grand Priest felt the need to highlight one mortal in peculiar, 
Universe 7's Goku. Now look at this, my king. There is something even more remarkable. Among these warriors, there is a warrior whose purity and of heart and strength are truly astonishing. His name is Goku. He is from Universe 7. Goku! That boy who likes to fight and always try to get stronger, right? Oh, I like him! Show me! Daishikan once again raised his hand, projecting holographic images that highlighted Goku's exploits. From his first battles on Earth to his fights on cosmic scales, the Grand Priest illustrated the Saiyan's incredible journey. Goku is a unique being. His ability to overcome himself at crucial moments, his insentient search for getting stronger challenges and his purity of heart are truly remarkable. Even among mortals, he stands out. Ah, uh, he seems like a lot of fun! He seems also like a nice guy. Hey, Daishikun, can I meet him? No, uh, if you wish, my king. I can organize a meeting between you and Goku. It will be a unique experience for both of you. Yes, yes, do it, Daishikun! Let's see what Goku is capable of! With this decision, Daishikun began to preparing the meeting between the King of All and the mortal warrior whose power and purity had attracted attention even on the celestial planes. The universe was full of surprises, and this meeting promised to be one of them. When sharing Goku's story with Zenosama, Daishikun couldn't help but notice the similarity between the mortal Saiyan and his first celestial war Saiyan friend, Yamushi. You know, my king, as I watched Goku's exploits, I couldn't help but notice a striking resemblance to someone. Someone I once knew. A notable Saiyan who fought valiantly in the Celestial War long ago. His name was... Yamoshi. Yamoshi? Oh, I remember him, Daishikan. He was strong, but he always sought justice. Are you saying Goku is like him? Yes, my great king. Goku's determination to protect others, his search for challenges, and above all, his purity of heart reminded me very much of the noble Yamoshi. It seems that, even among mortals, the essence of saints remains. So Goku is like a spiritual successor to Yamoshi. That's really interesting. I can't wait to meet him. It'll certainly be a unique encounter, my great king. I'm sure Goku will be honored to meet you and share his experiences. Thus, the connection between Goku, the mortal warrior, and the Yamoshi, the Celestial War Saiyan, became a bridge between the past and the present, connecting the universes in surprising ways. As Daishikan shared Goku's story with Zenosama, his mind traveled to the distant past. To the days when he and Yamoshi were battle companions in the celestial war against the demonic gods. Daishikan's face lit up with memories and nostalgia. Amid the chaos of celestial warfare, Daishikan and Yamoshi fought side by side. Their powers combining in a dance of destruction against the demonic gods. Both shared a common goal, protecting the balance of the universe and ensuring peace between the divine realms. Yamoshi, with his burning flame and unwavering determination, always led the Saiyans with bravery. Daishikan, with his serenity and angelic abilities, complemented the Saiyan warrior's abilities. Together, they formed a formidable alliance. As the battles raged, Yamoshi displayed a remarkable purity of heart, a rare quality among Saiyans. Daishikan, the silent observer, admired the straight in Yamoshi, becoming a respected friend over time. Now back in the present, Daishikan was smiling at Zenosama, still absorbed in his memories. Yamushi was a remarkable warrior, my great king. His determination and purity of heart were unmatched. And now seeing Goku, I see traces of Yamushi's valiant spirit. <laughs> it's amazing how connections between beings extend through time. I look forward to seeing how Goku will carry on Yamoshi's legacy. Daishikan agreed, aware that the cycle of time continued to weave its stories, uniting past, present, and future into a cosmic narrative. Faced with Zenosama's curiosity, Daishikan smiled, appreciating the opportunity to share a piece of cosmic history. 
the first celestial war. It was a time of great challenge for all the divine beings. Demonic gods, evil beings who sought destruction and chaos, threatened the stability of the universe. In those days, Yamushi, the valiant Saiyan I mentioned before, led the Saiyan warriors with unparalleled courage. They were known for their strength and determination, traits that became key to victory against the demonic gods. Zenosama kept on hearing more, sitting on his heavily throne. Daishikun continued to paint an epic portrait of celestial battles, highlighting moments of heroism, sacrifice, and the union of diverse divine races. Zenosama listened attentively, fascinated by the narrative. The divine realms joined forces, creating unlikely alliances to face this imminent threat. It was a time when bonds between celestial beings were forged in the furnace of conflict, and many friendships emerged even in the midst of adversity. And how was the Celestial War finally won? The Grand King Zeno tilted his head, taking in every detail of the story. Daishikun smiled, remembering the decisive moment. It was a combination of courage, strategy, and above all, the determination to preserve order in the multiverse. In the end, the unity of all the celestial races proved to be stronger than any threat. Whoa! It's amazing to think how the past shapes the present and future! Thank you for sharing the story with me, Daishikan. <laughs> Indeed. The events of the past are like stars in the sky, each carrying in its own light and meaning. And so, the universe continues to write its stories, one after another. Daishikan closed his eyes, diving into the depths of his memories. It was a time immemorial when the galaxy was immersed in increasing chaos. Daishikan at that time was not the Grand Priest. He was just a celestial being, observing the vastness of the universe. On one such occasion when the cosmic sky was painted with the flames of celestial war, Daishikan met Yamoshi for the first time. Both were on opposite camps, but something about the Saiyan's courageous aura caught Daishikan's attention. On the celestial battlefield went where the stars collided and deities waged the epic wars. Daishikan approached Yamoshi. The light of battle illuminated their faces as they faced each other. Yamoshi, the brave Saiyan. Daishikan said, his voice resonating like a heavily melody. You face a war that threatens all existence. What drives you to fight with such determination? <laughs> I fight for my people. For the races that cannot defend themselves. I fight for a universe where light can prevail over darkness. Yamoshi's words rang in Daishikan's ears, touching a sensitive fiber in his heavily heart. He saw not just a valiant warrior, but someone who embodied the essence of justice and courage. Daishikan, not yet high priest, contemplated the depth of Yamoshi's commitment. <laughs> Your mission is loyal and noble, Yamoshi. Perhaps amid the chaos, we can find an understanding that transcends the boundaries of war. The two warriors from different worlds shared a look of recognition. A battle raged around them. A brief truce was formed between them. A fleeting respite in the never-ending cosmic dance of war and fate. Yamoshi, with his tenacious stance, responded to Daishikan on that cosmic battlefield. I never imagined that Saiyans and angels could find common ground. But sometimes, the need to preserve existence transcends our differences. Daishikan, looking at the stars that witnessed the celestial war, suddenly agreed. War sets us on unexpected paths, Yamoshi. In the heat of battle, unlikely alliances can form to preserve the balances of the cosmos. Yamoshi raised his fist, bathed in the light of fighting, and said, Whether Saiyan or Angel, we will share the responsibility of protecting what is precious to us. We all do that. If this alliance serves that purpose, then we will fight side by side. What do you say? 
<laughs> From this unlikely union between Saiyans and angels, a spark of hope emerged in the midst of the darkness. Together, they faced the demonic forces that threatened to consume existence, each contributing their unique abilities to the joint effort. In the heat of the Celestial War, Daishigan and Yamoshi found themselves scornered by a race of dragon gods, ancient beings who personify the primordial forces of the universe. Dragon gods were immensely powerful beings whose existence transcended the very nature of the cosmos. When facing these formidable adversaries, Daishigan and Yamoshi combined their skills, combining the dexterity of an angel with the indomitable fury of a Sagan. Under the intense light of the stars, the dragon gods unleashed their powers, unleashing cosmos storms that challenged even the mightiest warriors. Daishikan, with a celestial grace, manipulated divine energies to create shields of light, while Yamoshi channeled Saiyan Ki to resist brutal attacks. The battle unfolded in an epic spectacle, with reality shaking under the clash of titans. At the height of the conflict, when hope seemed fleeting, Daishikun and Yamushi, in a moment of pure harmony, merged their powers into a unique technique. A blast of divine and Saiyan energy erupted, enveloping the dragon gods in dazzling light. The dragon gods, momentarily weakened by the transcendental fusion, retreated, allowing Daishikun and Yamushi to recover. However, this momentary victory was not the end, but rather the prelude to even greater challenges that awaited the unlikely allies. The Celestial War was far from over, and the fate of the universes remained suspended in a fragile balance. After the intense battle against the Dragon Gods, Yamoshi, the legendary Saiyan, looked at Daishikan with renewed respect. The universe was silent and both warriors, even though they were races of different cultures, shared a deep understanding about the need for cooperation to preserve existence. Yamoshi, taking a deep breath, broke the silence. Daishikan, you have the potential to be the supreme king of all angels! Your unique combinations of celestial grace and divine power, <laughs> it's something I've never seen in another being! Daishika, normally reserved, welcomed Yamoshi's words with an expression of contemplation. He had been the high priest for a long time, serving the high kings, but the idea of leading all the angels was something he had have never have seriously considered. <coughs> Your vision is quite intriguing, Yamoshi. But my role as a high priest is to serve the high kings and ensure balance in the universes. <laughs> I get it. However, remembering that the universe is dynamic, as in the nature of our own existences, perhaps in the future you will see the leading the angels is a path to balance demands. The two warriors remained silent, staring at the vast cosmos before them. Meanwhile, the stars witnessed the events that would shape the fate of the universes, a cosmic tapestry woven together by the unlikely union of an angel and a Sega. With a future held for Daishikan, only time could tell. As the days passed during the Celestial War, Yamoshi delved deeper into his own power, exploring the limits of his Saiyan existence. The Celestial Battlefield became a spectacle of energy, with Yamoshi emanating an intense light as he raised his power to heights never before achieved. His hair, already golden, began to pulse with the celestial luminosity, reflecting the fusion of his Saiyan nature with divine energy. Yamoshi, now imbued with the power of a Saiyan god, radiated an aura that echoed throughout the battlefield, inspiring allies and foes alike. The dragon gods, who were once an overwhelming threat, now retreated before the magnificence of the Saiyan god. The battle began to tilt in the divine warrior's favor, with Yamoshi leading the charge and showing the true extent of his new power. At the height of his transformation, Yamoshi unleashed Saiyan combat techniques combined with the divine energy flowing through his veins. His fists were like meteors, and every movement was executed with supernatural precision. 
The Saiyan God, now the beckon of hope for his people, inspired others to reach previously unimaginable levels of power. Daishikan, watching closely, recognized the magnitude of the power that Yamushi had achieved. The celestial war, which had once seemed like a hopeless battle, was now tilted in favor of the defenders of the universe. However, Daishikan couldn't help but wonder about the price Yamushi was paying for this transcendental power. After all, it is a mortal using divine energy. The fate of the universe was now intertwined with the power of a Saiyan God, and as Yamushi continued his ascension, the heavens echoed with the magnitude of the celestial war that would shape the course of cosmic events. Upon realizing that the celestial war had reached an impasse, and that the only way to achieve peace was by directly confronting the dragon god Zarama. Yamoshi approached Daishikan with a serious and determined look. Daishikan, if we are ready to end this war and restore order to the universe, we must go to the very heart of the enemy. We must invade the palace of the dragon god Zarama and face them directly, declared Yamoshi, determination reflected in his eyes, golden. Daishikan, after a brief reflection, agreed to Yamoshi's proposal. <laughs> You're right, Yamoshi. If Zarama is the source of the power that sustains the Dragon Gods, defeating him could be the key to ending this war. Let's prepare for this onslaught. The two divine warriors began to strategize, gathering allies and planning the attack on the palace of the Dragon God Zarama. The journey promised to be dangerous as directly facing such a powerful divine being would require not only strength, but also cunning. As they prepared for the mission, Yamoshi and Daishikan strengthened their bones, becoming formidable allies in the fight for peace. While the divine warriors prepared for the invasion of the palace of the dragon god Zarama, in the confines of the dragon kingdom, a clandestine meeting was taking place between the dragons, ancestral beings who held the power to shape the universe. Several dragons of varying sizes and colors gathered in an imposing chamber, where murmurs of conspiracy echoed among them. Among the shadows, the dragons' flaming eyes glowed with ambition, and their booming voices announced a sinister plan. The time of submission to the gods are coming to an end. It is time for the dragons to take control of the universe, declared Sharon, the divine dragon with a powerful voice that reverberated throughout the chamber. The other dragons agreed, each expressing their desire to transcend the cosmic supremacy. Dragon King Zarama, who ruled everyone, remained silent, watching the meeting with his wise eyes. We must unite and show the gods that we are not simple pawns in their divine games. Together, the dragons will conquer the cosmic order and become the true masters of the universe proclaimed Purunga, the eternal god, in his deep voice. As the dragons plotted the conquest of the universe, the fates of the divine warriors Diamoshi and Daishikan were about to intertwine with this epic conspiracy, where the fight for cosmic supremacy would unfold in a battle that would challenge the foundations of the universe itself. In front of the majestic entrance of the dragon kingdom, Yamoshi, the Saiyan god, raised his hand, preparing to enter. The gigantic, ornate doors began to creak as they slowly opened, revealing a dark and mysterious hallway. A gust of hot air escaped from within, carrying with it the imposing aura of the dragons. Upon entering, Yamushi felt the crushing pressure of the dragon kingdom. The darkness was replaced by a heavenly landscape, where golden clouds floated between ancient stones' columns. On a high throne, Zarama, the dragon god, the dragon king, watched with his wise eyes. The other dragons, including Sharon and Peronga, were present, each emanating a magnificent presence. Yamoshi remained impassive, staring at the dragons with determination. His black hair moved gently, driven by an invisible force pulsing from his body. Yamoshi, Saiyan God. What brings you to the kingdom of the dragons? Asked Zarama, his voice resounding like a distant thunder. I am here to end the celestial war and begin a new era, where gods and mortals coexist in harmony. 
I will no longer accept dragons manipulating the destiny of the universe. Yamushi proclaimed, standing up with confidence. The dragons exchanged intrigued looks, while Zarama remained on his throne, contemplative. The fate of the universe hung in the balance, and revolution was about to unfold in the heavenly halls of the Dragon Kingdom. Yamushi, surrounded by a divine aura, rose to the level of a Saiyan god again. His dark hair flowed around him, while his eyes shone with the intensity of a star. He turned to Daishikan, the Grand Priest, who watched with a serene expression. The time has come to end this war and create a new path for all beings in the universe, declared Yamushi with a firm and determined voice. Daishikan next to Yamushi nodded. Together, they advanced through the heavily corridors of the Dragon Kingdom. As they moved, the dragons watched with surprise and curiosity, while Shenlong and Purunga murmured among themselves. Yamushi and Daishikan's arrival at the main hall was marked by a tense silence. Zarama, the Dragon King, remained on this throne, but his expression now denoted a certain interest in the boldness of the visitors. Zarama, the time for interfering in the fate of mortals has come to an end. The war between gods and dragons must cease. Daishikan proclaimed with a voice that resounded throughout the room. Zarama watched them for a moment before responding. Saiyan gods and angels on a joint mission. <laughs> this is truly unusual. But the final decision is up to me. At that moment, Yamoshi prepared himself for what was to come. The celestial corridors echoed with the tension of the impending battle as the fate of the universe hung in the balance. To be continued. So hey, what do you believe and what do you imagine about all of this? Don't you forget to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.